What's going on, y'all? Thanks for tuning back in here to another episode here on the Speedbug channel. Well, y'all have been asking as well for an update here on the race car, Snow White, and I figured I'd give you guys an update on that and with the new engine and kind of just let you know how things are going. Um, it, does, it has gone to Cadillac Attack. It uh, did not make it to FL2K last year because we're waiting on parts, but it is planning on going this year. Uh, other than that, I've probably gone to about five, maybe ten test and tunes just to get the transmission and stuff dialed in with the uh, new engine. And it's pretty much good. It's flawless. It's ready to go. It's obviously on all the street wheels and stuff right now because I move it around in the garage. It's just hot as hell sometimes here in South Florida where I don't feel like sitting in the staging lanes um, dying in my fire suit. Uh, but the car doesn't care because the car runs on alcohol now. So, But other than that, everything has been flawless as you all know as far as the engine it is a lme ltx 427 cubic inch iron block uh with the billet ysi blower uh she makes some steam and i yes i still run it on the 20s i haven't decided if i'm going to go to 15s or anything yet but i still like the 20s because it still fools people obviously you all saw the cadillac attack this car was the second fastest car there that was, you know, not caged and all that other jazz and stuff to make it technically full race car. Because this is technically a street car. And yes, my car technically still has air conditioning. Yes, it makes well over 1,500 wheel. And you see that right there? That is air conditioning. No option. Nothing has been removed from this car since the day I bought it new. Which makes it extremely unique. It still has all the brakes. It doesn't have like aerospace composite brakes or anything like that. It has upgraded brakes, but it has all of the factory. It even has the factory heating and cooling. This is a 3LT, so it has all of the options that you can actually get. But as far, let's go back into the engine and the reliability. But uh, yes, it's built engine, built trans, torque tube, diff, all that jazz. Uh, but yeah, that car has been overall for the most part 100% reliable. Again, it's a race car. It runs on alcohol. Uh, that's what I mean by it streets car but it just stays on the track uh but realistically it has been a hundred percent problem free so i wanted to give you guys uh, an update on that do i have any future plans with the car to make it faster i don't know how much faster i'm going to be able to keep going on these wheels uh meaning that wheel diameter uh the only difference is i just run a slick uh on my other set but it's still a 20 inch rim and that may be because I've just noticed as I keep turning it up and turning it up, it just doesn't, uh, it's not really going much faster. And that's just due to I'm not able to grab traction. So uh, we'll see what, the, we'll see what it entails in the future and uh, we'll go from there. But I wanted to give you guys an, up, uh, an update and an episode on this. And uh, we'll see it out probably at FL2K and uh, we'll see how long it can uh, make it before maybe it gets kicked out. Other than that, thanks for tuning in, guys. And uh, hope you have a wonderful day oh, i'll show you guys the inside so y'all don't you know i'm not crazy yep and uh thanks for tuning in guys and uh we'll see you for another episode here on the speedbug channel peace out